Yak Shabash and good afternoon, everybody. Tom Kutzer with you on another Sunday afternoon. Here. Tom Kutzer still has the pipes. Ready for two hours of great polka music? Besides his weekly polka show, this WISL radio personality is enjoying retirement, relaxing, cleaning his basement, and that's where he found this. Pull it out and has save on the outside. I can't believe it has to be a save. And I open it up in Stanley Kowalewski interview. And I thought, oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tom Kutzer of WISL with a guest. His name, Mr. Stanley Kowaleski, one of the Baseball Hall of Fame greats. Stan Kowaleski is Shemokin's Hall of Famer. He was one of the first pitchers ever to throw a spitball. He won three games in the 1920 World Series for the Cleveland Indians. Inducted to Cooperstown, same class as another Stan, Stan Musial, 1969. That's when Shemokin honored him and Kutzer interviewed him. I'm glad to come back here again, because a lot of memories come back to me. A lot of old friends, I guess, too. A lot of old friends, a lot of memories. It's like I knew him forever. I, I wanted to call him Grandpa. I just did. I, we sat there like I knew the man for years, and I didn't. I think more than his stats, and of course very important, uh, more than that to me was what was in his heart. He just seemed like a soft, gentle human being with a handshake that'll blow you out of the ballpark. Kowaleski was soft-spoken, even nicknamed the Silent Pole, but for nearly 15 minutes, he opened up to Kutza. He even talked about Babe Ruth. I claim I'm the one who made a hitter out of Babe. Uh, how's that, Mr. Kowaleski? Well, when Babe was through Plinton, you know, the reporters in Cleveland, asked, or not in Cleveland, but in New York, asked him who was the toughest pitcher we ever had of a hitter. He says, Kowaleski. I know you'll always be an inspiration uh, to the young boys in the Shemokin and Cole Township area. Something I could hand down to my five-year-old grandson one day when he's old enough to realize, Baseball Hall of Fame, how many towns have one of those? That makes my heart happy. He is not forgotten. This replica of Kowaleski's Hall of Fame plaque stands proudly here in Shemokin. The city put it up in 1997. That was also Kutz's idea. So he put a face to the name and now a voice to the face. The silent pole, no longer so silent. This town I owe so much to. Landon Stoller, Newswatch 16 Sports, Northumberland County.